three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolfie here. We are back. And what we've got for you today is another brand new player review. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, is this car good. And I'm excited to bring this to you. We have got the 92 rated prime icon moments, Kaka. 97 pace, 95 dribbling, 90 shooting, 89 passing, 76 physicality. Look at his in-games. His in-games are absolutely cracked. I've gone with a dead-eye chem style on him to improve his shot power, his finishing, all that. If you believe in chem styles, I personally don't. But yeah, I'm super excited to use this card, man. This card is one of the icon moments that I'm most looking forward to. I did buy him for 5.5, but he's now selling for under 5. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm going to be playing him up front in the 4-2-3-1. I feel like Kaka's best position is... To be honest, I feel like Kaka, this Kaka, having used him already for 11 games, by the way, so I'm a little bit biased about him, YouTube. I do know what the card is about already. And trust me, this Kaka card is legit. He is insane. But... <coughs> do you mean? I think this Kaka card can actually play anywhere. So he can play striker, cam, right mid, left mid, centre mid, CDM. You know, I... I genuinely believe this Kaka card can play absolutely anywhere. He is insane. As we do come up against uh, Inform Bernardo Silva, Mares, Kante Awar, Neymar and Bappe, Ashley Cole, Van Dijk, Ruben Diaz, Bellerin and Alisson. But yeah, remember guys, when I do these um, play reviews, I break it down into four segments. So of course, segment number one, genuinely just is the card good? You know, bang, straight off the bat, is the card good or not? Segment number two, is the card worth the coins? That is always a... A tough situation to ask, really. Is the card worth the coins? Because that would depend on a lot of things, I'd say, right? That really would depend on a lot of things, if I'm being honest. But there's Kaka with the pace. Segment number two, is the card fun? And segment number three, is he meta? Believe you me, having used this uh, Kaka card already, I can tell you categorically that he is meta. He is fun to use. He is worth the coins. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, is he insane at the game. Trust me, like the card is cracked. And I mean like cracked beyond another level. Like he, He's genuinely got like everything. Everything you want from like a striker, cam, centre mid, CDM, right mid, left mid, he's got. He's tall, he's strong. He's uh, Seriously, you'll see if I can get an opportunity to run with him, you'll see he's absolute. Oh, what, 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 right there? He is absolutely rapid. I love that from Rio, by the way. He is absolutely rapid. And I mean, like, not even a little bit quick. I'm talking, like, I'm talking team of the year and Bappe level type quickness, which is kind of weird because for a tall player, FIFA normally do this thing where if the card's tall, they're not quick or they're not good on the ball. But this Kaka, I feel like Icon moments this year, they are hitting differently in terms of, like, where they're at. Like, I've used, obviously, Moments Dini. I've done a player review on Eusebio, etc., etc., etc. Oh, yes, he read that. Well, this guy, this guy... Guy had a weird team, but this guy's not bad at FIFA. Which I, I, like, I like doing play reviews like this against good players. It show you really like where true level of the player is at. Good ball. But yeah, Kat, I feel like like I was saying with Icon Moments YouTube, they do hit very oh, that's an awful pass from Messi. They do hit very different, you know. Like this year, I feel like they are super, super, super juiced. Vieira's cracked. Moments Dino's cracked. This this Kaka is insane. Obviously, I'm a bit biased because I've used him already, so. It's what I'm talking to you about. There is Kaka. Oh, you read that. Good defending. But Kaka's one thing I noticed as well with him is like he's actually really good on the ball, which is something that I was very shocked at. One thing that I thought Kaka would be is I hate saying the word because I know like Gorilla uses it a lot. <laughs> but like I thought I thought Kaka would be clunky and stiff, but he's not. Same with like Renda Team Near Ronaldo. These cards that have been super juiced this year, they're not clunky or anything like that. They're on. They're honestly like on a different level. These icon moments are hitting differently. I'll tell you. Good ball. Nice tackle there from Rio Ferdinand. Yeah, they really are hitting differently this year, these icon moments. I think you're going to see like a lot of um, icon moments teams at like events when they've got unlocked accounts and stuff. Because like, trust me, they are ridiculous. I do want an R9 in there though, of course. But I just can't get hold of him at the moment. But in terms of Kaka... I feel like you can honestly, like I've said, you can play him absolutely anywhere, whether it be striker, cam, centre mid, CDM, right mid, left mid. He's just got everything you want from like, what is that? From? I'll tell you what, me and Rio Ferdinand, me and Rio Ferdinand are like beefing at the minute, I'll tell you. Like, I'm not getting on with him at all at the minute. I've got Kaka, burn this Ruben Diaz, my son, look at that. Little ball roll, scoot turn, does him. Little give and go, little give and go. Oh, like it's not going to go out. The only thing I would say is, though, is 
in terms of like worth the coins that's the only problem with these icon moments is that they are because no one's packing them really like they are super 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 expensive like when i did the um review on icon moments torres like what a card he was as well by the way like jeez oh he actually tackled me man i think his ai tackled me there so i'm pretty sure he, he switched to another player and i think his ai just tackled me that's my biggest pet hate on fifa by the way it's like when when the ai does this is the most like i don't know if anyone any of you agree youtube if you are still watching this point let me know in the comment section i really do think this is like one of the most assisted fifas we've ever had like i feel like a lot of ai stuff happens this fifa oh unlucky yeah, you see Kaka, you see the pace on him, like, see him burning through defenders and stuff. This is the, this is what I feel like the prime Kaka should be. And then I feel like the moments Kaka really should be even better, if I'm honest. Like, I feel like prime Kaka is the most disrespected card I've ever seen on any FIFA. Like, this is Kaka we're talking about. Like, the card in his prime was genuinely, like, one of, if not the best players in the world, you know, in his pomp. Good ball. Good ball. Oh. I wanted that to get to Dinia. So I really do feel like this moments card should be like the prime, and then the moments one should be even better, in my opinion. Just because of who like, just because of who Kaka was really, and all that. You see that? You see that from Kaka? Oh, unlucky! You see the dribbling and stuff? Like he's insane at dribbling for a big man. He really is. Like for a, well, I say big man. He's not big. He's like six foot one, isn't he? But, like, he's dribbling in terms of the way he glides on the ball and stuff. It's just insane, man. It's so, so, so good. Good tackle there from Rio, but he gets tackled. I'm struggling to create anything in this game. This guy's defending. Guy's defending. Well, again, it's just something I think with the 4 2 3 1 this year. I don't think the 4 2 3 1 is just as viable this year as previous years. I feel like defending, because defending is just so easy on this game. Like, I feel like you really. Well, let me look at that. I mean, he's tackling me there. Oh, do the ball roll first to get it. Yeah, that's the game plan. But yeah, because defending is just so easy this year. I feel like you need two strikers in like a 4-4-2 formation. Just to give you something different. I will actually go to the 4-4-2 in the second half. Because obviously, we're creating absolutely nothing here at all, are we really? So again, I'll put Kaka up front. Because I feel like... I probably feel like striker is probably his best position if I had to pick. Mate, I think he's just a little bit like... Not clunky, but just a little bit too big for the cat. I'm, uh, I just, man, this guy reads everything. I think he's just holding contain, you know. Like, my players can't, I can't left stick dribble by him at all. That's the ball. Good to, oh, what a tackle there from Van Dijk. Yeah, we're going to go 4 4 2. We've created absolutely nothing in this game. Absolutely nothing. So I will go to the 4 4 2. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can't get past him at all. 4 2 3 1, you know. It's just not it this year, is it? Like, like I said. Uh, AI defending and defending in general is just way, way, way too easy. It's not hard to defend on this FIFA at all. Just don't. If you want to know how to defend YouTube, just don't touch your defenders. Like uh, it's really that simple. Look at that. Like, that's a dead boring game. So I'm gonna go into the 4-4-2. I'm gonna put Kaka up front with Ronaldinho. Like so, Kaka's left foot, by the way, is very good. On my first game with him in the weekend league, which you guys won't have seen, I'll put some foot champs highlights up for you this week. Um. On his first game that I actually played with him in the weekend, he scored a hat trick all with his left foot. <laughs> so I was like, oh, damn, what a player. Like, again, like I've said many a times this year, I don't really think a weak foot, uh, like, as long as it's four star this year, then you're, like, laughing, really. Oh, wow, Walker, you've got to win that. I'm sorry. Win that. Oh, my Lord. Look at little ball. Oh, I can't get out. This is the biggest kickoff I've ever seen. Finally, we get the ball. Oh, we haven't gone into the 4 4 2. Oh, my God. Yeah, 4 2 3 1. Chat, if you're still using that at this point, I don't know what you're doing. You need to get into the 4 4 2. It's not good. 4 2 3 1 this year, man. It's just not good at all. But yeah, in terms of like, uh, I suppose the gameplay doesn't matter. Gameplay shot. Ah, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What a game to review Kaka, by the way. Like, nothing's happening. I'm trying to review Kaka, right? YouTube and, um, you know, like, I just can't get the ball up to my strikers at all. Like, it's got to look that nice. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's a little bit of two up top. At... Man, my... By the way, did anyone see my um, rude hullet just stop tracking the run there for the, my opponent's goal there? I know a lot of you guys love to mention your pay-to-win aspect and stuff, but did anyone see my 90 rude hullet just... Stop running 
to get my opponent to let my opponent score there. I know a lot of you guys like to say about pay to win. I, I don't. The more I use my God Squad guys, like the less and less I see it this year. I feel like, oh, like the honestly, the less and less I see it. The pay to win. I think pay to win is very much non-existent much this year. Like, I mean, in my opinion, let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below as well, of course. Like, having used my Road to Glory team, here's Kaka though, by the way. Look at that. Look at that pace from Kaka. That's what he's all about. That is what Prime Icon moments Kaka is all about. Putting that ball through in behind and just letting him run. He's literally like a road runner. The bloke is so quick. Absolutely left that Ruben Diaz for dead. And of course, because he's the... Not even because he's Dark on Moments. Because he's Kaka. He's got the finesse. Do a little ball roll. Cheeky little finesse shot around the keeper. We say thank you very much. We're 2-1 up now. Oh, this is going to be a kickoff, isn't it? Nice, real. That's good for me. But yeah, in terms of Kaka, though, um, YouTube, I think you got to remember... Look, this guy, look at him. just running back with this centre. See, yeah. Oh, God almighty. And then look what happens when he actually has to defend. Oh. Look at that. Look at the delay, man. The delay that I'm playing in here is on another level, man. I passed that ball with Dino. For like a first time pass. And he took, I think he took two extra touches there before he finally passed the ball. This is what we're playing it, man. It's just disgusting, man. Right, here we go. Kaka, what you got for me, lad? Nice. Man, this guy. I can't even dribble at all. Man, this game, like, I tell you, bro. Like, FIFA is the only game like this where you just can't play during the day. Like, you have to play at like five o'clock in the morning to get good gameplay. It's the only game like this, by the way. Like, genuinely. Yeah, in terms of Kaka though, chat, unbelievable player. Obviously, I'm a bit biased already because I've already used it. Look at this guy's running back with this CDM. Oh. I can't actually drip. Honestly, chat, YouTube, if you know how bad this gameplay was. Oh my god. Look, I am trying my hardest to do stuff here. Look at that from Kaka. There he is. That little burst of acceleration again. Bang, bang, bang. Thank you very much. He says, thank you very much. There's a hatchet for Kaka on the player review. But this is what I mean, though, about Kaka. You get him in that box, the bloke finishes everything, honestly. His finishing's way better than, like, I think, 92. I think the face card says. Trust me, his finishing is a lot better than 92. Nice. That's the ball. Oh, that's an awful ball. That is not the ball I wanted at all. AI tackle, mate. It's AI tackle, dude. Oh, all right, whatever. Look at that for you, Beast you are, lad. Yeah, we take the ball. We take the free kick. I feel like whenever I'm doing a player review, my gameplay's bad. Maybe it's because of the timings that I do it. Ah, oh, here's me trying to excuse bad gameplay. Like, just shut up, Wolfie. Just shut up. Bad gameplay should never be a thing on any game, ever. But here we are. You're trying to excuse EA, so don't, don't. Yep, YouTube, I'm not. I'm not going to say that, what I was going to say, you know? Like, tackle Reese James, love that. But honestly, this game here is probably the worst game I've played in a while in terms of game power. It's, it's so bad. Here's Lionel Messi, he's in. Cheeky little finesse shot. 4-1, thank you very much. Kaka with a hat-trick. Messi, of course, with the finish there. I actually did yesterday a player review on that player of the month. Messi, Messi's insane. I, I love that Lionel Messi, bro. I really, really, really like him. Definitely think his best positions, though, are like a uh, striker or something like that. Right, anyway, let's go. We all want to see more from Kaka. I'm, I'm trying to do as much as I can with Kaka here, chat, for you guys on YouTube and that. But, like, I'm genuine. I think I'm playing here in about, like, what, one or two second delay. So, like, I'm trying to dribble with him, show you how good he is on the ball and that. And, obviously, I just can't. Good tackle. Just can't because the gameplay is so bad. But you've already seen, though, just how quick he is and just, like, how good he is at breaking through the lines. And his second goal is just literally what Kaka's all about. The ball in behind, he beat the defender to it. Had the finesse to, like, finesse it around the keeper beautifully. He says, thank you very much, you know. Look at that ball over the top. This is what Kaka's all about, look. On his left foot, he does... Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, YouTube, we just ignore that part, okay? I promise to you, we just ignore that part. Oh, I so. I promise to you, we just ignore that. Because that's the first time he's actually done that for me, you know? That is genuinely the first time this moment's Kaka's done that for me. I'll, I'll excuse him. 
Just because it is on his weak foot, of course. You know, it was on his weak foot. That'll be the excuse that I'll use. But don't excuse it too much. He should have, he should be scoring that. That's the first one he's actually missed. He normally bags them on his left foot. It's why I play him left strike instead of Dino. Because I feel like Kaka's weak foot's better. Nice little ball inside. Like, honestly, that like that was the first time fate. Like, Honestly, YouTube, this has been the hardest game I've ever had to play on FIFA, by the way, in terms of, like, the, like I can't do anything in this game. <laughs> All right, Mbappe, he'll finish it off. Oh, wait, he didn't. Moments, Yashin, what a keeper he is, by the way. But, yeah, that is the player review for Kaka done for Nito. What a player. So, section number one, is the card good? Of course he is. He is insane. I absolutely love Kaka's moments card. I think he's brilliant. Of course, segment number two. Is the card worth the coins? Yeah, I'd probably pay... What? I'd probably pay about... F between 4 and 5 mil. If you can get him in between 4 and 5 mil, you're laughing. But look at that. That's what he's all about. Pace to get past the, the centre-back. Lovely little finish there. He says, thank you very much. Again, look. Get the ball into the box to him. Directional nutmeg. There's the finish. Kaka's insane at that. It's what he's, it's what he's best at, really. But this is... I thought the keeper saved this, actually. It's tight angle. Yeah, that was, that was never going in, really. But yeah, I can't honestly recommend Kaka enough to you guys. I think he is unbelievable. I think especially for you like, not Milan fanboys, but for you like Brazilian fans out there, you Milan fans, blah, 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 you want the Kaka. This is very, this moment's Kaka is very much like the real life Kaka, which is I think something that it should be addressed because Kaka's card should be a lot better than what it is and it should. He's very disrespected on FIFA in my opinion. But yeah, I can't recommend him enough to you guys. Tomorrow's YouTube video will be my set of custom tactics, so I hope you guys do enjoy that. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Remember, spread the love and positivity, PMA, positive mental attitude. If you haven't already, drop a like on the video, drop a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. Peace out. One love.